In this particular video, we'll be looking at the binomial theorem. Let's start with what is a binomial. Binomial theorem. A binomial, as the word suggests, has only two terms. Let's say A and B. And the two terms are either added, added or subtracted. So binomial theorem is basically the expansion formula of a plus b, let's say, the whole squared. And we know a plus b the whole squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Similarly, a plus b the whole cubed. We know that too. It's a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So what if this index is any other number other than 2 or 3? It may be 4 or 5 or any other natural number. So this index could be any natural number. It's n which belongs to a natural number. Or what if this n is not a natural number but it's a real number. We'll see this later. Right now we'll start with the binomial theorem that deals with the expansion of a and b, a plus b, the whole raised to n, where this n is any natural number. Any natural number. So the formula is the combination of n0 a raised to n plus combination of n1 a raised to n minus 1 b plus n2 a raised to n minus 2 so you can see that when the denominator when the lower number is 2 we have n minus 2 and similarly we have b squared so the total number of a and b is always n because over here we have n minus 2 number of a so we have 2 number of b and so n3 a raised to n minus 3 b cube you need to learn this formula plus and so on let's say n r a raised to n minus r b raised to r and so on till we have n n and we don't have any a this time we have b raised to n so this particular formula is called the binomial theorem for expansion of a plus b the whole raised to it now let us understand this with a concrete example let us take the example of x minus 2 upon x the whole raised to 5 so over here the value of a is x the value of b is this entire thing including this negative sign minus 2 upon x this is b and the value of n is 5 so we have a equal to x we have b equal to minus 2 upon x and we have n equal to 5 now let us fit, let us substitute all these values a is equal to x, b is equal to minus 2 upon x and n is equal to 5 in the above formula. So we'll start with the question x minus 2 upon x the whole raised to 5 and this will be equal to five zero a raised to n so we have x raised to 5 
plus n1 a raised to n minus 1 b. So we'll write 5 1 a raised to so x raised to n minus 1 n minus 1 is 5 minus 1 that is 4 into b b is minus 2 upon x plus n2 so we have 5 2 a raised to n minus 2 so we have x raised to 5 minus 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 into minus 2 upon x the whole raised to 2 plus n3 so we have 5 3 x raised to n minus 3 so you can see the value over here the x was raised to 5 then we have x raised to 4 we have x raised to 3 so we'll have x squared x raised to 2 and when x is raised to 2 the other term minus 2 upon x will be raised to 3 so 2 plus 3 is again 5 the next we'll have is 5 4 x only once x raised to 1 or we can write over here x raised to 1 into minus 2 upon x whole raised to 4 and finally we have the last part 5 5 we are not going to write x this time because we have n n directly b raised to n so we have minus 2 upon x the whole raised to 5 now before we go further let us solve and find in advance what is 5 combination with 0. This 5 0 stands for 5 C 0 and we know that is nothing but 5 C 5 and that is equal to 1. Next let's find what is 5 C 1 and we know that is equal to 5 C 4 and that is equal to 5. What is 5C2? And that is equal to 5C3. That's because 2 plus 3 is 5. Over here, 1 plus 4 is 5. 0 plus 5 was also 5. Now, 5C2 or 5C3 can be written as 5 into 4, the whole upon 2 into 1. We start the numerator with 5. We start the denominator with 2. And we have two terms in the numerator. Two ones are? so 5 2 is 10 so we have 10 over here it's very important that we prepare the combinations in advance so that the sum becomes simpler so let's continue with the sum we have x minus 2 upon x the whole is to 5 is equal to 5 combined with 0 combinations x raised to 5 we know 5c 0 is 1 so 1 x raised to 5 we can ignore the 1 plus 5 1 x raised to 4 minus 2 upon x so we can write this as minus directly now what is 5 c 1 5 c 1 is 5 multiplied by x raised to 4 multiplied by 2 upon x remember we have already taken this negative sign over here we can solve this later then we have plus 5c2 and we know 5c2 is 10 so we write a 10 x cubed multiplied by what is minus 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4 positive 4 and what is x squared we have x squared so you can see that this sign remains positive it does not become negative plus 5c3 that is again 10 x squared into what is minus 2 cubed minus 2 cubed is minus 8 now instead of writing minus over here we can make this sign itself minus negative 
and what is x cubed x cubed is x cubed as it is let's continue this further plus 5c4 5c4 is 5 x what is minus 2 raised to 4 so we have minus 2 into minus which is 4 4 4 are is 16 so into 16 upon x raised to 4 plus and finally we have 5c5 that is again 1 if you can ignore the one if we wish minus 2 the whole raised to 5 and minus 2 the whole raised to 5 is minus 32 so we can write this sign directly as negative and we can ignore this one the whole upon x raised to 5 so the first thing that we see is the first coefficient is 1 and the last coefficient is also 1 secondly x raised to 5 x raised to 4 x cube x square x then we don't have the s that x next we have this coefficient as 5 we have this coefficient of 5 repeating over here then we had this coefficient of 10 and the middle two coefficients are 10 let's um, solve this simplify this further so x raised to 5 minus 5 2 is 10 x cancels and we have x cube over here 10 4 is 40 and we have just x minus 10 it's a it's 80 and the same we have x left in the denominator then 16 5 za, 16 5 za is 80 and we cancel 1x so we are left with x cubed in the denominator minus 32 upon x raised to 5 so this is the expansion of x minus 2 upon x the whole raised to 5 another thing that we see is whenever we have a negative sign in between the two terms the alternative terms means the second term and the fourth term and the fifth term they all are negative while the first term the third term and the fifth term they are positive so we can directly use this property and we can use the signs accordingly Thank you.